Hi guys, Jason here, coming to you from Meridian, Rocky Mountain Krav Maga Fitness. I uh, just wanted to throw some online videos out there. I know that, uh, you know, this is rough being quarantined during this whole coronavirus, and it's really important to really stay on schedule. I know I took, um, had some stuff I had to take care of in December, and I took about a month off of like really being in a routine, and it was really tough getting back into it. So guys, try to stay in that routine, try to keep it going. When this is over, we wanna be able to jump right back in. So this is gonna be a cardio workout, and there is some strength training stuff in here, and there is some agility and balance stuff too. It's just kind of a mix of everything. Um, we're gonna just start with a warm up, and there'll be a stretch, uh, then we're going to go through three different deployments, and if you want a 30-minute workout, you'll end it after the second uh, deployment. If you want a 40-minute workout or so, end it after the third one. And if you want to go all the way to like 50 minutes, we're going to do some abs at the end. So let's do this, guys. Uh, 30 seconds on each little exercise. Let's just start with a warm-up. Just kind of jog it out a little bit. Just jog it out. Nice and easy, we just need to get warmed up. Don't have to get crazy here. Think about breathing, think about running outside. Like I'm gonna be at the park. And there's some shadow box. You can do some defensive stuff here, maybe do some insides. Maybe you do a little cover, cover, protect your side. Mm. Left, right, burst back, burst forward. We're gonna go next is gonna be what we call a double Heisman. It's step, 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 then your Heisman up, knees up, step, 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 step. Step, step, you can hold that if you want, boom. Next, we're gonna go into some squats. In some squats, make sure they turn your heels, chest is up. Your heels are, your knees are behind your toes. It's important to keep breathing. It's just the warm up. Straight arm jacks. Just go straight up. You got some shoulder issues. This feels way better. Like I said, it's just the warm up. You wanna go real fast here? Go right ahead. We're gonna go arms out, high knees. If you want to go fast, that's cool. If you want to step it, it's cool too. I'm doing a variation just right about the middle. And I'm going to go back to jogging it out. Nice and easy. Just like you're jogging in the park. Kind of stopwatch down here. So I'm keeping track of time. So you feel yourself starting to warm up a little bit. And back to shadow boxing. This is a good place to practice your combos. Count number four. Maybe practice your hook and uppercut. Boom, boom. Burst in, burst out. We crack some inside defenses, 360s, boosh. Get 
Get ready for double Heisman. Here we go. That's the Heisman part. Hold. This is a good balance practice. Squats are next. Weights on the heels or on the full foot. Just make sure those knees are behind the toes, chest is up. Next, we're gonna go into straight arm jacks. Get ready, people. Here we go. So feel yourself starting to get warm now. Get ready for high knees. Here we go. Arms out. One more round of this. We do everything in sets of three rounds. Right back to jogging. It's gonna be nice to get back outside, maybe work out with some friends. I like to go to the Miller Complex and run those stairs. It's starting to get warm enough now. This is the last, last round here, people. Back to shadow boxing. Keep that good fight stance. Chins down. Feet are about a shoulder width apart. You should be on the balls of your feet. You should be able to move. Maybe just practice a little moving. Some punches. Rotate, rotate. Don't break 90 on that uppercut. Ready for double Heisman's. Because you got the football. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. I think my days are past for winning a Heisman. But I can still do the pose. Back to squats. And for those that don't know this little trick, you inhale when you're going down, Exhale on the power coming up. You always want to exhale on the power stroke. We get a push up, squat, lunge, doesn't matter. Ready for straight arm jacks? Go. Feeling yourself getting warm now. I always don't like the first five minutes of a workout. It's a cold, warm it up. Once you get that heartbeat going, then I'm okay. Straight down, high knees. All right, people, let's do it. Last one on the warm up. Then we're gonna do a little stretch. Run that a little faster. Gonna step it. 
All right. One bar stretch. Do a little yoga stretch here. Start with your feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna stand with our full foot on the floor. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Show you side of you here. We're gonna go down into a runner's lunge. Back leg is straight, front leg should be at 90. And we're gonna come up into warrior one. I'm gonna rotate my hand up, get my knee against my elbow, look up the sky, opening up that chest, and bring it down. Go to the other side. Put your hand on the floor here. So you get that rotation. Open it up. Back down. Back up to warrior one. Or sorry, crescent pose. And we're standing straight up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Step back with whichever leg you didn't do before. Again, back leg is straight, front leg is at 90. We're gonna come down, inside of our leg, and open up that chest. Elbow against your knee. We're gonna back down, other side. Again, you can touch the floor for this, it's fine. Bring that back down. I'm gonna come back up to crescent pose. Step up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Sorry, exhale down. Inhale up. All right, get into that squat. We're just gonna stay here for a minute. It's a good time to make sure your knees are tracking behind your toes. You put your elbows inside your legs here. Kind of push out a little bit. So it's a good hip, uh, hip opener. Really help you get those round kicks in, side kicks, both kind of work on those hips. It's good to open those up a little bit. Come up slow. All right, the stretch is complete. Take a little break here, shake it out. A little dynamic stretch. That means that you're moving while you're stretching. Like a swimmer going into a pool, a boxer going into a ring. Loosen up, and then you're ready to roll. Take a 30 second break. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that little break. You probably should still be breathing hard, or breathing a little bit anyway. Your body should be warm. Um, we're gonna go through this exercise in three rounds, so let's get us started. First is hurdles. Run in place, and then I say jump, jump up. Bring your leg up, jump up. Go ahead and get started. Jump, little jog in place. Hurdle. 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 Next exercise. Squat position, attack, palm strikes. We all know how to do those one after the other. Make sure you're on your heels. Knees are tracking behind your toes. This is kind of the fun one. Here we go. Keep breathing. Next is gonna be push-up jacks. Get 
Get ready in a push-up position. Down for push-ups. When you go down, legs come apart. When you go up, legs go together. Ten more seconds, guys. We're almost there. Come on up. Next is 180 rotational jumps. You want to stand any way you want. I'm going to stand sideways to you. You start to squat. I'm going to jump up. 180 rotation. Keep going. If you want, if your form's a little messed up on that, just go ahead, squat down, come up, turn, squat down, come up. Thirty second break. I'm not going to give any instruction on this next one. We're just going to hit the next two rounds. Be ready, guys. Ten more seconds. Setting up for hurdles. Three, two, one. Hurdle. 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 If you're landing a little funky on this, just step it up. March it out. Let it kick that leg up. feeling sprite and you're still doing the jump you ready for attack three two one squat position attack palm strikes palm strikes legs are burning can't keep up a good form just straight leg it a little bit otherwise stay in that squat stay in that squat come on guys you got this it ain't no thing about chicken wing. We're gonna get down to push up jacks next. Push up jacks next. These can be regular push ups as well. Let's get down there. When you go down, jack out. Come up, legs together. If you gotta go to your knees, do push ups. That's fine too. Just make sure you're getting that. That tricep, that chest, you can feel the burn. Keep going, people. You're gonna set up for rotational jumps. Ready? Let's go. Wanna jump all the way from the bottom? Push off with your balls and your feet. Three, two, one. 30 second break. Keep moving. Keep moving. These aren't easy, but they do get easier as you keep doing them. 10 more glorious seconds. One more round of that. Three, two, one. Run it out. Run it out. Hurdles. Hurdle. 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 Attack is next. Exhale on that jump. Down for attack, squat position. What I didn't tell you guys is that at the end of this round, there's a one minute extra special burner move that I love. It's not too bad. Keep those palm strikes coming. You got 10 more seconds. Then we're going to push up jacks. No problem, no problem. 
and give these legs a break. Get down. You can rest at the top. Typically, you don't want to rest at the bottom. Go to your knees. No big deal here. Just make sure you're stacking those joints. Elbows, wrists, and shoulders should all be in a row. Come on back up. Rotational jumps. Go. Keep going, guys. The power move here is going to be jump twists. Stanley gets some ski poles, and you're just going to twist, twist. But keep doing those jump spots. We're almost done. But the rotational jumps. Three, two, one. They seem pretty easy. But on after three rounds, keep your core tight. You're really going in three directions. Facing this way, facing forward, and I'm facing right. And I'm twisting my body, so I'm always looking forward. And the ski poles are just because it's Colorado. And if you can do a little hop, this is a great way if you're feeling out of breath, a little spent. 30 more seconds. So it's got a while yet. And then you can always pick it back up. Feeling like you're a little tired? Slow it back down. Take a little second. Whew. Boom. Back at it. Back at it. Back at it. 15 seconds, people. You've gone this far. One deployment almost done. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, 30 second break, enjoy it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna start this timer off. We're gonna do uh, four more exercises again. Three rounds, we're gonna start with hit the floor. Hit the floor looks like this. Skip over, touch the floor, skip over, touch the floor. Let's get it started. Stand the balls of your feet. Just a little skip. You can step it. If you're feeling like that form can't stay, just it can't stay right. Just step a little bit, otherwise, get off the ground for a little plyometric training. I like to put my hands up on my face. It's just a good habit. Next one we're gonna do is tuck jumps. We just got done doing these for the last month's challenge. Up, back, up, back. If you wanna step these out, come on up. Otherwise, Five more seconds, we're gonna move to our next one. Keep going. Next one, you all know it. Get in that fight stance. Combo number four. Good time here to practice, bringing those hands back to your face. Make sure you're staying on the balls of your feet. Remember, elbows up, you're twisting in. Twist, twist. Rotate, 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 rotate. Last one, moving push-ups. Do a single push-up. 
Come to a wide, pass your regular. Cross the floor. Almost there, people. Two, one, 30 second break. All right, two more rounds of that. Catch your breath. Gonna start with hit the floor. No demo this time. Just keeping it real, working out. I'm working out with you guys. I'm talking. You don't have to talk. Keep it going, you're in your house. There's no one to prove anything to but yourself. Stay with it as much as you can. Modify when you have to. Ready? Touch the floor. Boom. It's a little bit like doing sprints when you touch the floor in the gym. Tuck jumps are next. Down for tuck jumps. Let's go. We're gonna come up. Knees should be tracking behind your toes. You're low in that squat. You're looking forward. Hands go down. Back down. Back is straight. Boom, come all the way up. All right, ready? Combo number four. Bring those feet, hands back. Are you on the balls of your feet? I am, but every once in a while, I feel myself slipping back. Don't slip back. Chins down. Now lean into the fight a little bit. Waves a little bit forward. Okay, last one, moving push-ups. You can just do push-ups here. That's fine too. You can go to your knees. That's okay. As long as you're still feeling the burn, you're still standing, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Almost there. Three, two, one. <coughs> 30 second break. Now at the end of this one, for our power move, we're gonna do front kick, switch stance. So you're just gonna be in a fight stance, front kick, switch, front kick, switch, front kick, switch. That's gonna go on for a minute. After this next round is done, ready? Hit the floor, three, Two, one. Don't yourself get flat footed here. You should be on the balls of your feet. Stay in. Three, two, one. Tuck jumps. Come on. What's up? I am. Ready? Next is combo number four. Keep going. Three, two, one, go. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Moving push-ups are next. If you need to take a little second, shake it out. Do a little dynamic stretch. But stay in it. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Left, right, hook, uppercut. Left, right, hook, uppercut. All right, down, moving push-ups. Let's go, last one. Keep 
Keep going, we're almost there. Ready? Three, two, one. Fight stance. Front kick. Switch. 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 Keep going, people. Come on. 30 more seconds. Make sure you're on the balls of your feet the whole time. It's just a kick to the groin. So you don't gotta get fancy and kick high. But make sure that switch is good. Back in that fight, fight. Fight stance, fight stance. Come on, 15 more seconds. You got this. It was a glorious 30 minute break. I lied. Two, one. 30 second break. Hey guys, you ready for your third deployment? Hope you enjoyed that rest. I get a few extra seconds in right now, so take full advantage of it. I'm gonna start this third deployment. If you stopped last time after the second one, that's still cool. Congratulations for sticking for number three. Uh, this is where a lot of that magic is made. If you made it through two and you feel still feel pretty sprite, three is definitely the way to go. All right, let's start it out. Straight knee switch. My crowd guys know this, straight, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch. When you throw that knee, straight, really get into it, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch, straight, knee, switch. Next one, diamond jumps. I hate these, but I put them in anyway. Start from the bottom. Whoosh. Bring your feet together at the top. Whoosh. Whoosh. Modification. Whoosh. Whoosh. Some of us whoosh. don't really whoosh. ready for that plyo training. That is totally cool. Whoosh. Then we're gonna move to cross jacks. It's like a jumping jack. We cross your legs. Hands in front, hand over the top. There's the mod. Then get back right into it. Ready to go. Last one. Combo number five. Two straights, two hooks, two uppercuts. Remember to bring those hands back. Keep breathing, people. Don't forget those rotations. And break. Not bad. Those diamond jumps, though. They get you 20 glorious seconds left. Come on guys, this is the third one. We just went through one round, two more rounds to go. You guys are doing awesome. 10 more seconds and we're gonna get back started with the straight knee switch. Straight knee switch. Getting your fight stance ready. Go, straight. Sheesh. Almost there, guys. 
Then we're gonna go into cross jacks. One more, just because I like them. Woo! Cross jacks. A little active recovery here. It said, you can go slow here. It's cool. As long as you keep moving. And you take a second. That was a lot. Love yourself, hug yourself, shake it out. And when you're ready, right back into it. Ready, come on number five. Fight stance, get ready. Go, left, right, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Two straights, two hooks, two uppercuts. This is good. Practice and bringing your hands back. Making sure you're getting those rotations. Time. 30 seconds. Woo! Almost over. Last round. And then we do have a power move. So get ready. Enjoy the next 15 seconds of glorious rest, recovery. Keep moving a little bit. Keep moving. Keep it light. But you don't want to stop. Get ready. Let's get ready for straight knee switch. Fight stance. Are you ready? Go. Straight knee switch. 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 All right, guys. Ready? Diamond jumps. Let's get after it. Actually, I think we got one more round of this. So stay with it, guys. Into cross jacks. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. This is only round two. Tell me, one more after this. Keep it up. Got one over five is next. Three, two, one. Can you fight stands? Left, right, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Left, right, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Breathe just like you would be. You're doing the combos. gonna say I was feeling way too sprite but that to be the last one the other had to be one more plus I didn't remember doing diamond jumps twice and those are things I remember Whew. ten more seconds Whew. straight knee switch getting that bite stance ready straight knee switch straight key switch Let's fast here. We're slow. As you want. Make sure you maintain good form. All right, diamond jumps. Let's do them. Use your arms. Can it help you get up? Bend your knees a little bit. You want to land soft. Land on the balls of your feet. 10 seconds. Come on. Then we're in the cross jacks. 
One more. In the cross checks, ready? Go. Again. You can go slow. You can shake it out. But if you can stay in it, stay in it. Five more seconds. Then we're in the combo five. Bite stands. Ready? Five more seconds. Now, set it up. Jump squats, one minute. Last one. Squat, jump up. If you want to really jump, just want a little bit, get your feet off the ground. Either one is acceptable. If you just want to squat it out, if your legs are feeling pretty spent, don't risk an injury. Stay at your level. Consistency over time. It's not about tearing it up every workout. It's about making sure you just suck a little less. Suck a little less every workout. Maybe you get one more jump in at the end. Maybe you get one more squat in. Stay with it. 20 more seconds. Breathe, exhale on the up. Almost there, people. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Man, that was a warm up stretch. Three rounds. I said four because it felt like four. Three rounds of three. That was nine total circuits plus three bonus power moves. You guys did awesome. Stick around for abs. Otherwise, man, I can't wait to see you guys back at the gym. Take it easy. All right, guys, if you're back, you got two things. One, we're going to do abs. It's eight different ab exercises, 25 reps each. At the end of the day, you'll have done 200 reps of ab exercises. I think this is a killer. Um, I'm going to count the numbers out, so please stay with me so that we can all make sure we get our 25 in and we hold isometrically when we need to. So, second thing, situationally aware, Anybody that's been with this video since the beginning, there's one thing in this room that's changed besides me. And if you know what it is, just jot it down in the comments below um, and no peeking. So, okay, first thing we're gonna do, um, well, if you know it, practice your fall, um, <laughs> your crawl back fall. And we're just gonna do a crunch. Simple crunch, we're not going all the way up. Hands behind your head if you can. Otherwise, put them on your chest. And we're just coming up a little bit. Chin's facing the, the ceiling. And we're coming up and we're holding it. And we're tightening up our upper abdomens just for a second. Two, three, four, five, six. And the reason why I'm talking like that, seven, is because eight, I'm tightening up my core. Nine, ten. I do this for an ab warm up. Because uh, I feel like my abs, 15, or 14, 15, that's 15, 16, aren't always warmed up, 17 for some of this stuff, 18, 19, 20 plus, it makes it burn a little bit, and so I know there's something happening, because sometimes if it's not burning, I'm like, what's happening, because I'm not in that good of shape, oh, 25, all right, next one, reverse crunch, hands on the floor, legs go out, 
One, two, three. Your legs can just go straight up. Four, five, six. Don't do this. Seven, just make it hard on yourself. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. These are hard people. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You should be burdened now. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Ah, God, those hurt. All right. Next one is heel touches. Knees are bent. Just going down, touching my heel. I am isometrically tightening my oblique up. Notice my shoulders are off the mat. Shin is facing the ceiling. Three, four, five, two is one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You should have done one. Sixteen. I want to just give you another angle. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, last one, 25, oh, gosh, whew, all right, scissors are next, huh. this is going to be rough, people, one leg up, one leg out, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, gosh. Oh, who? I almost didn't make that one, people. All right, we're gonna take it a little easier now. Kind of a mid-set rest. We're just gonna do the same kind of crunch that we did the first time, but this time we're gonna lay on our side, knees facing the TV or the monitor, whatever you've got on, hands behind the head. The idea is we're gonna isolate this oblique right here. One, two, Three, it's important. Four, just to tighten that side up. Five, six, seven, doesn't take much. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50, or want to get a little crazy. 16. <laughs> 17, not yet, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that was one side, other side, let's make this happen, he's a bed, facing the camera, 1, 2, I'm going straight back here, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I do hold a little bit at the top just to strengthen that up. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Always keep your chin pointed up. Fifteen. You want to sixteen? Bend your neck. Seventeen. 18, these hands are just 
19, just barely on your head. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. Next one in and out. Guys, these, these are rough. Stick with it. Take a little break if you can. Give me a second because I need a second. These are in and outs. You remember crunchy fries, you crunchy fries if you like. My palms, my fingers face forward. When these come in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25. This thing is going to burn them off. I'll tell you what. All right, C sits, 25 seconds. If you've never done these, they're interesting. So I'm going to set up on my sit bone. I can hold my legs like this. That's fine. Put my arms out like this. That's even better. If I can straighten my legs and keep my arms down, even better. All right, we're going to start our 25 seconds. Let me just get this watch started. A little extra break, take full advantage. All right, get on that sit bone. Get ready to go. Bring them up. There we go. You want to keep your chest up, back is straight, arms are out. You're kind of reaching with your arms. You can reach with your legs at the same time. 15 seconds gone, 10 seconds to go. See a little shake going on? That means something's happening. Things are happening. Three, two, one, oh! All right, 25 seconds isn't a lot there, but it's a lot after we just did seven. The last ab exercise right here. These are going to be twists. You can keep your feet on the ground. You can keep your feet up. You want side to side. Two is one. Last one, people. Let's get this thing done. Ready? Feet are up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Oh. Woo! Quarantine. All right, guys. Congratulations. It's definitely, definitely a burner for those abs. Thank you for sticking with me. I need to get back into better shape. I think anybody can always be in better shape, no matter how good a shape you're in. And if you don't feel like you're in really good shape, it's cool, man. A lot of people are working at the same thing you're working at. Everyone started at some place. Next time you just ask me to see my pictures, that's when I was about 38 or 37. It's a whole different person. So stick with it, guys. Great job on the abs. We're getting ready for for shirts off or tank tops or uh, cut shirt season. So stay with it. Talk to you guys soon. All right. If you guys are watching this, you just survived a warm up, a stretch, three workout deployments, and an ab exercises. Totally killer. I'm totally spent. So I appreciate you guys staying with me. Hey, be healthy, guys. Be kind. This is the time when we all need to pull together. It's unprecedented. This has never happened before. People don't know how to act. Some people are calm. Some people make jokes. Some people buy toilet paper. But we're all just trying to cope with the stress of the unknown. So I'm confident with the United States of America, we will figure out a solution for ourselves and for the world. And I hope it comes sooner rather than later, but I sure would because 
We are a country that people stick together and we can unite and this is the time to unite. So guys, be safe, be healthy. Talk to you soon.